Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 9 Italian destroyer, the Paolo Emilio. We're playing a match on the map Islands of Ice and surprisingly it's a standard battle. I don't think... I don't remember the last time I saw standard battle on Islands of Ice. But regardless, there are three destroyers in this match, no aircraft carriers, so those are the main ships I have to worry about. TDs because they outspot me and CVs obviously because, well, they're CVs, right? They'll do all kinds of shenanigans, but mostly just get me spotted. And as a Paolo Emilio, I really wish to get close to the enemy. So my strategy here is to go to the edge of the map and to get closer to the enemy, especially the battleships, then torpedo them either outside of my own torpedo range and hope the battleships sail in, or just get close enough for a little bit, drop the tarps. If necessary, I can always disengage with the smoke screen. Because Paolo Emilia's concealment is 7 kilometers, but her tarps are 6 kilometer radius. Oh! So this is what I'm gonna do on the Alsace, but I got spotted by their Yugma, unfortunately. So I'm gonna turn away. Their guns aren't turned over here, so it's not gonna be much of a problem. Let's see what that Yugma does. It's gonna be very difficult to disengage here, so I think I might actually have to go and take the fight with the Yugma. Just straight up go and uh, use the smoke screen to get close to the Yugma. And speed boost, of course. And then, you know, torpedo at close range, or maybe just use our SAP. Regardless, the main point is to try to avoid being uh, torpedoed by the Yugumo. As long as I can sink the Yugumo, I don't have to worry about being spotted over on this side. But if I don't sink the Yugumo, you know, it's gonna be a constant problem for me. Especially since I think Chapayev has already used the radar. Oh, there's the Yugumo for a little bit. Hello, have some tarps. This is gonna probably be a trait though, right? Because she's gonna torp me. Oh no, she didn't torp me. <laughs> well, that was your mistake, Yugumo. That was truly your mistake because you simply didn't torpedo me. But even then it would have been a trade. And a tier nine destroyer for a tier nine destroyer, it's not the greatest for me, but it's acceptable. And now I'll just disengage. Sadly, they have a second DD over here. So I might as well just fire at this Mogami, I can't do much for a while anyway. So if I'm gonna disengage... Oh, actually did finish her off. Excellent. Well, now the question is, what do I do? Because the Akatsuki also outspots me, just like the Yuguma did. I do have the Chapayev, who probably will have radar soon, and I mean, we definitely outnumber the enemy, so we probably should push. But the main thing is, my smoke is down for 90 seconds. In about 30 seconds, I wouldn't mind taking the risk, but right now it's a bit of a sketchy situation. But the nice thing though is that they only have battleships over here. And battleships don't deal nearly as much DPM. Also, hey, there's a convenient smokescreen here. I might as well try to take advantage. Sadly, the destroyer is somewhere where she can still see me uh, when I fire my guns. However, I am shielded from one of the battleships by the island and... Uh, now I'm shielded by both of the battleships by the island. Also, because the Akatsuki actually fired her guns, I know exactly where she is and can now play around it. Effectively, looking at the minimap, I can tell that the Akatsuki is not in a range to be able to spot me if I were to go out from behind this island here. Which means that uh, this is a very good position for me. Especially since she keeps being spotted here. I'm guessing she's running because of the... A potential of the Chapayev and I guess the Tashkent, right? I'm gonna take a few shots here, because if we can deal more damage, that will ward her off even better. And I mean, I'm against two battleships right in front of me. I have a smoke screen in 10 seconds, speed boost in 36 seconds, and uh, that should be very, very, very nice for me. Effectively, I'm gonna YOLO those two battleships right here. Even better if I could actually use the island to uh, do my approach without having to expend my smokescreen. That would make it even better. So I'll try doing that. So I'm not going to go for the Alsas, I'm going to try to go for the Soyuz first. If the Soyuz comes around the island, of course, then I'm going to smoke immediately. But right now, they probably are unaware that I am uh, getting closer and closer. And that their game is going to end soon. On the other side, obviously our team is getting wrecked because the enemy outnumbers uh, our, our team. So it's natural that that happens. 
Oh, I actually did sail too close to the Celsius, but it's okay. There's no point in using smoke here. Because she only gets to... No, she didn't even get to fire her main guns. So smoke would have been completely wasted. Now the Soyuz does know I'm coming though, especially since I fired my guns, you know, they can see me from the Akatsuki. However, I still have the smoke screen, and I'm thinking, yeah, I should use it just the moment I get around the island. Because then, they're much less likely to get accurate shots on me, and if the battleships actually do fire, that's a bit of a tricky situation for them. Because then they won't be able to deal any damage to me once I do get spotted like I just did. But they didn't fire, so I guess it's fine. But that Alsace is 100% dead. She just needs to get hit by two tarps and gone. Goodbye. Well, now it's your turn, Soyuz. It was a fun game, but uh, sadly, yours is gonna end here. Oh my god! The Tashkent actually managed to get the Soyuz here with a fire! Wow! Wow! That should have been kill number four for me, but no, apparently not. I feel robbed. Anyway, I'm gonna sail slightly away. I only have 3000 HP, and my smoke screen and uh, speed boost are both on cooldown, and there's an Akatsuki lurking in front of me. She, all she needs is effectively two salvos, and considering that she outspots me, she's probably gonna get two salvos. It would be rather unlikely that she wouldn't be able to get at least two of them, and then my game would end. So it's much better for me to just do a little circle here, wait for some of my teammates to catch up, and then go forward. Because it does seem that Akatsuki is effectively their only ship that's defending the cap right now. I'm guessing some of them are gonna come back, but it's only gonna be some of them. And considering we're pushing with a Chapayev, Iowa, Nagata, Georgia, and potentially a Cheshire, Cheshire I think will be good. Oh, Chapayev radar actually picked the Akatsuki up. This, uh, this is extremely good because now I can get close while knowing that I'm safe because they don't have any other destroyers. The only destroyer is right in front of me, and she actually has less HP than I do. This makes me even more confident, because now if the Akatsuki actually came to pick on me, the moment she fires, I fire back, and, uh, well, I have a higher chance of one-shotting her than she does me. So Akatsuki is probably, and Akatsuki obviously knows that, so she's probably just gonna fall back and try to reposition to be able to torpedo in a different position or just launch long-range torpedoes at me and maybe hope that she gets lucky. But she's probably not going to come pick a fight with me, especially now that I have a smokescreen up again. Aw, uh, our Chapaya was taken out by the Mogami, but he played really well. Like, his radars were maybe not instrumental, but they have been very important so far. But I'm gonna just push into the cap, I have a smokescreen, I have a speed boost. Hey, maybe we even get to uh, YOLO someone again. I mean, we don't have much HP, but it's possible. Akatsuki is obviously going to block the cap. I mean, it makes sense. If you don't block the cap, then you kind of end up being screwed, right? Because you fall behind in points and... Uh, or, well, not points. You risk losing the game right out there. Wow, the enemy Kansas actually almost made it into our cap, and then she realized that literally every other ship on her team has either sunk or turned around. So she ended up being alone and... Uh, well, Kansas is so fast that she obviously cannot disengage. And thus, she just went down to our Lazo and Tashkent, and maybe Cheshire as well. Anyway, I'm just gonna... Oh, there's the Akatsuki. I'm gonna speed up, full speed, engine boost, smoke, everything. We're just going YOLO now. We're gonna try to get as close as we can, launch all of our torpedoes and just hope for the best. If we find Yakatsuki, even better, because if we can sink her, then my team doesn't have to worry about uh, the destroyer messing things up for them later. I, I am using RPF right here. I know Akatsuki is right there, right? She has to be really close here. So I'm... Oh, okay, there's the smoke screen. This, this gives me an indication on where she is. I'm gonna launch one set of the tarps into the smoke. Just hope that I'll get lucky blindly. Now I'm gonna turn the other way, launch some torpedoes on one of the crew- Oh, there's the Akatsuki! Goodbye, and now let's turn to launch another set of torps. I'm gonna expect the Charles Martel will accelerate, and now I'm gonna go down in a bit. 
right? There's nothing I can do. Even my turrets can't turn fast enough to really be able to fire here. But all I need is one torpedo to hit the Charles Martel. And then she is gone. Yep, you accelerated and it was a mistake. Goodbye. Hello, Kraken Unleashed. Well, I mean, now it's a 6 versus 3. <laughs> Nagato, Mogami, Shores versus... Uh, what is that? Tashkent, Lazo, Cheshire, Iowa. Iowa, Nagato and Georgia. I think Georgia and Iowa alone could easily clean up here. But, uh... <laughs> they have support on top of that, so yeah, this game is over. We have pretty definitively won this one. And hey, we got the Kraken, and did over 100k damage. Which goes to show that you don't need to, like, YOLO to your death, as you saw at the start, right? I just went in to launch Terps at the battleship, then the destroyer intercepted me, so I sank the destroyer instead. And then I waited to get a better YOLO on the other two battleships to know when the destroyer was gone. Effectively, you can play the Palo Emilia in a measured way, and I think you should. Because this smokescreen gives you a lot of opportunities to disengage. Sure, it feels terrible once your smoke is on cooldown and you can't really do much, or you're constantly at risk. But it also uh, is a tool that you can utilize to exert pressure, right? What do you think that Akatsuki felt? She knows there's a DD there that is faster than her and has a smokescreen that makes her uh, easily get closer to the Akatsuki so that the Akatsuki's uh, concealment advantage doesn't work, right? She has to also play around things like that and obviously, you know, she took... she considered that and realized that no, this is a bad fight for her. And I think uh, Paula Emilia is a really interesting ship because of gameplay like that. Anyway, this game is over. Let's ju jump ahead. Surprise, surprise, we won this match. Kraken. Uh, just a flesh wound, by the way. A flesh wound Kraken at that. First Blood sank five ships with only seven torpedo hits, by the way. 1746 base XP. Yeah, I did fight lower tier ships, tier sevens and eights and nines. Well, 7s and 8s are the lower tiers, and because of that I didn't get the greatest amount of XP. But hey, you know, we took out the DD basically full HP, we hit the cruiser, another cruiser, another DD, 300 <laughs> damage to the destroyer, but still, we didn't get the Soyuz, so the Akatsuki makes up for it, okay? If we had gotten the Soyuz, this would have been a 6 kill game. Yeah, sick, half the team, basically. Damn. But I think the Soyuz and the... Uh, Akatsuki kind of make up for it. So, upgrades or commander skills, priority target, last stand, survivability expert, then concealment expert, then RPF, then adrenaline rush, and then basic firing training. I think RPF is really important, like you saw against the Akatsuki. Upgrades wise, reload upgrade, concealment upgrade, propulsion. I don't actually know, maybe steering is better, I'm not sure. Then I use the turret traverse one, because I think you either need the turret traverse upgrade or concealment or uh, expert marksman. One of those. Then I use the Speed Boost Upgrade and Main Arts Modification 1, obviously. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.